dear students in this video i am going to show how tie bars can be designed by using codes first of all we need to know about the types of bars which are used in cc payment or in digit payment the different bars used in digit or cc payment are one is tie bar one is 12 bar how we can differentiate these two the bars which are placed in the longitudinal direction of the pavement is termed as tie bar and the bar which is placed in the transverse direction of the pavement is termed as dual bar for example how we can remember this uh, what is uh, tie bar what is uh, dual bar for example this consider this as the uh, cc payment or rigid payment if you are moving in the lengthwise direction of the pavement the bar is termed as dual bar now if you are moving in the widthwise direction on the pavement is termed as tie bar okay remember now first types are completed and how they get placed now what is the use of transverse and dual bar uh, uh, dual bar and tie bar the use of tie bar is they resist the separation of materials from each other and the use of dual bar is it takes the load of the vehicle which is coming on the pavement and that load is transferred to the base of the pavement or to the ground below the pavement this is the use of the dual bar and tie bars now we will discuss about the design of tie bar it uh, the code which is required for design of tie bar and dual bar is irc 58 2002 uh, which is available at my blog spot uh, i will mention my blog spot uh, id in the description box if you need you can download it through that id and later solutions are also available you can go through them now we will discuss about the design of tie bar he has mentioned the design parameters slab thickness length, length width coefficient of friction density of concrete allowable tensile stress in plain bar allowable tensile stress in deformed bars allowable bond stress in plain tie bars allowable bond stress for deformed tie bars diameter of the tie bar now we want to calculate spacing and length of the plain bar he has given the formula a is equal to b f w y s a is the area of steel b is length width f is coefficient of friction w is density of concrete divided by allowable tensile strength in plane bars which he has mentioned here okay after calculating this we have to find the cross sectional area of the tie bar the formula is a equal to pi d square by 4 so we are assuming it as 12 mm so we are converting it into square centimeters always you have to calculate in terms of square centimeters next perimeter of tie bar is given by the formula p equal to pi d you can substitute all the values you will get perimeter now spacing of tie bar equal to a cross sectional area of tie bar by area of steel you can get by substituting the values in centimeter so we have to provide so much of spacing between center to center next how we can find the length of the tie bar l tie is equal to 2 s a by b p 2 is the constant s is allowable tensile stress in plane uh, plain bars ok a is the cross sectional area which we have calculated earlier and b is the allowable bond stress in the plane bars allowable bond stress for plane bars 
plain tie bars and p is the perimeter we have to substitute all the values we will get in centimeters now we paint the bars to resist the rust so there may be a lot uh, chance of loss uh, loss of bond between uh, bars so we take the tolerance value as 10 cm and uh, sometimes while placing while placing the bar uh, sometimes it get uh, distracted from its own place or original place we take the tolerance value for it is 5 cm so add these two values 10 cm and 5 cm these are the standard values always with the length of the tie bar it will get completely length of the tie bar how much the length of the tie bar should be now one important thing is here d here is allowable stress bond stress in plain tie bar if this value is not given in the question during your examination only it is mentioned that allowable bond uh, take the allowable bond stress in plain tie bar by IRC code 58 2002 you have to just write 17.5 if this mention in the uh, question directly you can substitute likewise we will uh, solve for deformed bars it is similar to the plain bars only only the difference is here while we are calculating length of the tie bar you have to substitute 24.6 which is the standard value for deformed tie bar so uh, 10 and 5 are the standards you have to substitute all the values you will get as usual so i hope you have understood the method how you can calculate uh, how, how we can design the tie bar by using irc code uh, if you have any doubt you can comment me in my comment box and can mail, uh, mail me at my email thank you